welcome back. Uh, we continue solving the programming challenges in the book starting out with Java and we are still in the chapter 5 and um, we are solving today uh, the payroll report uh, challenge and the and the program this challenge says uh, design a payroll class uh, that stores an employee ID, ID number, gross pay, state, federal, and FICA withholdings. The class should the class should have a method that calculates the employee's net pay as follows: net pay equal gross pay minus state pay minus federal and FICA withholdings. So we have to create a, a class called payroll uh, report. And the, this class should have uh, should have these four fields, uh, which are gross pay, state, state, federal, and FICA withholdings. And the the class should also have a method that would calculate the net pay. So let's create uh, let's create the the fields to be private. Int employee ID private double uh, gross pay private double state tax private double fed tax private double uh, FICA FICA withholding uh, FICA for short and we have to create the constructor um, payroll report which would have end employee ID double uh, a gross gross pay double state tax, double fed tax, and lastly, <coughs> double uh, FICA. FICA withholdings. So whenever the user <coughs> instantiates this uh, class, um, we have to store the fields to this local local uh, fields so we say this the the word the keyword this refers to the to 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 the to the local the variables as you can see this gross pay gross pay state tax state tax federal tax federal tax Fika, Fika. So we created the class on the constructor. So we have to create the um, the net pay. Get the net pay method. Public void uh, void get net pay. Is it a void? Should we return a void or? Let's return a double. So they say the formula is net pay is equal to gross pay, uh, gross pay minus uh, state federal FICA withholdings. Um, we add all the all the taxes and we subtract that from the gross pay. So we have to first. Um, a total the taxes then we have to subtract that um, from uh, from the gross pay first we create a variable for the net pay net pay equals zero zero uh, state state tax equals state tax divided by 100 because 
the user uh, would enter, let's say, a percentage in decimal form. It will, uh, the, the user maybe would enter five, uh, five point, um, five point nine. So we want to convert that to a percentage form, um, which would uh, divide uh, by one hundred. You know, for every, uh, for every, uh, every value, every tax. Otherwise, it wouldn't, it wouldn't give us uh, the correct result. So we have to do all of these, um, all of the taxes. Fair tax equal fair tax divided by 100. And FICA divided by 100. So after that, we have to find uh, the, the taxes. So the state tax, uh, net pay, would be equal to would be equal to state tax times gross pay uh, plus plus uh, fed tax times gross pay plus uh, FICA withholdings times gross pay so all of these are the taxes we have to subtract this uh, all these uh, taxes we have to subtract them from the gross pay gross pay would be subtracted so the net pay would hold uh, a gross pay minus Minus the state tax, the federal tax, and FICA withholdings. And um, let's uh, let's return uh, net pay. So I think that is that is it. So we have to create a class to test uh, this class. Uh, Java class pay roll runner to test the class. So uh, the second part of the challenge, they say, um, use use the class in a program that displays a weekly payroll report. A loop in the program should ask uh, the user for the employee employee ID number, the uh, gross pay, state, federal, and FICA withholdings, and and should uh, pass uh, the values to the instance of the payroll uh, class. So we have to we have to ask uh, those values that we we created and pass the, those values to the payroll class. So we would say scanner, scanner, system dot in enter employee ID. So we would say int employee ID equal next int. Uh, remember, we have to do input validation for all the values. So they say we don't we don't want to accept any negative number for any of the values. So we we'll say while employee ID is less than zero, we have to repeat uh, we have to repeat the, the prompt. Okay, employee ID, and also for the employee ID, we have a terminator a number. Um, they say uh, the loop should terminate when when zero is entered. 
So if the if the user enters zero, we should in terminate. We should exit exit the loop. While employee employee ID is not equal to zero, we have to continue the loop, and um, we have to ask the gross uh, gross pay uh, double gross pay. Also, we have to validate it. Uh, gross pay less than equal to zero. I have to repeat. Gross pay. Also, we have to ask the the state tax in a in a in a decimal form double state tax while state tax is less than zero state tax Also, we have to ask the the Fed the Fed tax double Fed tax while Fed tax is then Fed tags, yeah, and we have to ask the last, the last question, which is a FICA with holdings. FICA with holdings, double. While FICA is less than zero, you have to repeat with holdings. Yes. So after all this, we have to uh, pass these uh, values to the uh, to the payroll class, but first we have to create the an instance of that class. The first value is employer ID, gross pay, employee ID, gross pay, state tax, federal tax, and and fee code holdings. After that, uh, the net pay would return double. So we'll say net pay equals payroll get net pay. Then we have to format the net pay number number format. get integer integer instance nf set minimum one and uh, we have to uh, we have to uh, output the the net pay Uh, NF format net pay, and uh, we have to continue uh, to asking another the, the next employee information. Uh, 
uh, employee ID employee ID it will continue going forward uh, did we answer all the questions or we left something they say uh, should be displayed what should be the the net page should be displayed the loop should should terminate when zero is entered uh, for the employee uh, employee ID number after the data is entered the program should display totals for uh, gross pay state federal and FICA withholdings so we have to we have to uh, find the totals of of these uh, taxes so we can say state tax equal state tax divided by 100 times gross pay uh, federal <coughs> tax equal federal tax time uh, uh, divided by 100 time is gross pay uh, FICA withholdings is equal to FICA divided by 100 times gross pay and uh, the total no did they, they say total each uh, each tax so we would say uh, gross uh, gross pay equals format uh, gross pay um, state tax equals and a format state tax state tax and lastly no not lastly there is another one federal tax nf format fed tax and lastly for the fika withholdings nf format uh, fika withholdings so let's see if we answered all if we got the, the correct the correct answer let's run the program enter employer id let's start with a negative and see if this catches if the program catches that negative one yes it, it, it does so let's say enter zero no okay it works as expected number one gross pay how about negative one okay it, it works 700 the state tax for my state is 5.09 the federal tax is 6.2 what is the problem okay federal tax this gives me error for some reason oh next int not next int next double that was the problem so let, let's run it again one seven hundred my state tax is uh, five point zero nine federal tax is six point two FICA withholdings is 7.65 um, it, 
it show the, the the results show up but there's no space between the calculation and um, and the results so let's uh, let's give it uh, a space Uh, before and after before and after one seven hundred five point zero nine six point two seven point six five so the gross pay is uh, seven hundred the state tax is thirty five dollars Federal tax is forty-three dollars, and FICA uh, withholdings is sixty sixty-three. But it doesn't calculate the net pay correctly because because it is not subtracting the taxes from the gross pay right so net pay so we have to go back to the other class gross pay So let's uh, let's make it let's make it clear here. Double total tax equal state tax divided by one hundred times gross pay plus fair tax divided by one hundred. Uh, times gross pay uh, plus uh, FICA no, uh, FICA withholdings divided by 100 times gross pay uh, so we net pay equals uh, gross pay minus the total tax so let's uh, let's see if this calculation is right 700 let's say 5.09 6 6.2 7.65 Uh, gross pay is 700 uh, state tax is 35 35 plus 43 is 70 78 <sighs> hmm there is something. There is something wrong. I might do okay, maybe maybe here. <laughs> Sorry guys. I, I was doing uh, I was dividing one hundred twice for each value. So now now it, it, it should work correctly. Uh, Seven hundred. You know, a uh, five point uh, zero nine six point two seven point six five. Yeah, now now it, it it works. Now it should work correctly because the net pay 
here now is 567.4 which uh, which is correct because when you add 53 to 43 that would be 96 96 uh, plus 35 is um, is 125 right 125 minus uh, 700 it would be it would be 567 I think if if my math is correct so let's let's continue to the next uh, next employee if we enter zero it should terminate okay it, it did exactly as we expected how about um, let's test if we can calculate multiple employees uh, 700 uh, let's say 5.09 Uh, six point two um, seven point sixty five uh, employee two gross pay to a hundred the state tax is five point zero nine the federal tax is six point two the fee code holding 7.65 um, his net pay is 972 okay so we can uh, we can terminate it now so that is that is it um, we created a payroll class we created a payroll class and um, we created a constructor which is stored as the gross pay, state, federal, and FICA with holdings. And we created a, a method that would calculate the net pay. Um, first, we created, um, first, we, we set um, the state. Uh, the state fe uh, federal and FICA withholdings to it is fractional uh, per percentage uh, uh, form and then we calculated the the total tax for that uh, uh, for that value so uh, this this 100 uh, dividing 100 is, is really important because if you don't do that it would multiply um, it is a decimal form which which will not be correct you know 5.09 times 700 is is different than uh, than uh, 0 0.059 times 700 you know so uh, make sure to uh, divide 100 um, for the taxes uh, before uh, before you multiply the the gross pay after that the net pay um, we calculate the net pay by uh, uh, subtracting uh, the total taxes from the gross pay and we return uh, the net pay and in our uh, payroll uh, runner um, we created a scanner class to take uh, input from the keyboard we ask the employee ID and we, we validated uh, the employee ID so that the user uh, couldn't enter a negative number uh, for any of the values for the state, federal, and FICA withholdings. And after that, we created an instance of the payroll uh, class and we passed uh, all the instance, all the values to it so that we can uh, calculate uh, the each employee, each employee's uh, net pay. Um, we get here we get the um, the net pay and we store it in this variable net pay and uh, here here it's not it's, it's not 
it's not mandatory. It's just a, a way to it, the, this class number format. It's just to format the uh, the output, you know, to add you know commas or decimals for the final uh, output. You can leave it out if you don't want to here. So here, here uh, we created uh, the totals for the state, uh, federal, and FICA uh, taxes because the, the challenge asks us to create a total for each of the tax. Um, so, and here we just uh, print all the values to the to the console, and um, and here we, we we repeat, we repeat the the loop once the first uh, employee uh, information um, uh, finishes. So I think that that, that would be it. Um, I would I would post all the uh, all the uh, code. Uh, in the description and you can find it in my github uh, account and um, and uh, I, will, I will post it the the problem and uh, how we, how you can you can solve it I hope uh, you find this helpful and uh, I'll see you next time uh, please subscribe and like if, if you like uh, how we we solve this uh, thank you